kind of in the same vein as a as a an arco lamp or a patense lamp, and uh, uh, and to do a sort of modern take. The idea behind it really is that it's trying to do that with the, the least amount of components possible. So there's you know, two sticks that are then kind of arranged and held in tension by the electrical cable. Uh, and in sketching that, I think what came out was a very kind of iconic arrangement of angles and lines and tension. And so, yeah, it really did start as a 2D thing. And then from there, it was a matter of trying to figure out how to engineer. And I guess that's where the real challenge was. Through sort of sketching some of these ideas, it became apparent you could not only engineer it this way, but actually it gave a really, a really sort of iconic silhouette to the product as well. You, you, you screw the vertical spar into the base, into the round plate base, uh, do the same thing with the horizontal spar, and then you uh, attach the bulb holder end, which has the shade assembly on it and the cable, and then you sort of thread the cable over the top of the spar, the vertical spar, back down through the base, and then you clamp it to the base, and, and that's it, it's pretty straightforward. Flyover started as a brief for uh, the Venice Biennale, for the reading room, which uh, was supporting the Venice Biennale, I think in 2009. And uh, I guess what I really wanted the table to look like is like a floating surface. So rather than having legs outside, I wanted to have these sort of pedestal legs. Actually, there was a lot of things that to me felt reminiscent of flyovers and bridges and motorways and hence the name. To assemble it, you just simply take the channels and lay them upside down, just to assemble the legs into those brackets and there's you know, a series of nice little um, machined and tapped holes which, you know, everything sort of screws into it. It's pretty straightforward.